first mission, STS-38, I was the only one on the crew who was really hungry the whole time. Uh, most people get into space and don't have much of an appetite. I had no trouble with appetite. And I um, started out with uh, uh, grits, which I grew up on. And my mom said, to make sure you take grits up there. They'll stick to your ribs. And, uh, and they did. They were great. Uh, on the first morning, I woke up, and um, the uh, rest of the crew was not hungry. And they were doing their morning activities, such as brushing their teeth and shaving. So, I made a container of grits, had water and let it sit, and, uh, and to keep out of everybody else's way, I floated up to the overhead of the, um, of the shuttle and wrapped my legs around the escape hole that's up there, and I'm hanging upside down eating my grits, and one of the guys turned around, and I don't know if it was the grits or me hanging upside down, or just the fact that I was eating, but he immediately got sick, and that kind of spread to a couple of the other guys on the crew. So I took my grits up to the flight deck and ate in privacy from there, so I didn't bother anybody else. But anyway, at the end of the mission, uh, we were getting ready to land at uh, Edwards Air Force Base, and we went through the checklist, and my job, of course, was to check out the flight controls and make sure the hydraulics were working, and to turn on the hydraulic pumps uh, before we uh, did the deorbit burn. Uh, about five seconds before we were going to lose uh, signal from the ground, they called up and said, don't start the pumps. Uh, we're not going to let you land at Edwards. We had uh, severe crosswind and rain. And, and really bad weather, which is unusual for Southern California, but um, it was uh, it didn't meet our criteria for making the landing there. So we waved off, and then about an hour and a half later, we tried again and got waved off again. And then an hour and a half after that, we tried again, and, uh, and we waved off with the continuing bad weather again at the last second. And that night, um, in a very unusual uh, activity, the uh, flight director got on the comm line and talked to the commander, Dick Covey, and said, uh, the weather is supposed to still be bad at Edwards for a few more days. We're probably going to bring you into Kennedy. Are you okay with that? And uh, Dick said, yeah, that's probably okay. Um, uh, what's the constraints? And he said, well, you don't have enough food to keep feeding Frank for the rest of the week, and so we need to get you on the ground. Mm -hmm. 